This building is the fourth or the fifth, I think, Hill Street Academy, Columbo Academy, San Bastian's University College, and here. But we are not only commemorating a building. This building came about as a result of a decision to establish a university in Sri Lanka. In 1913, the building came here because they felt the Colombo city was shifting into this area. And then there was a committee appointed in the Legislative Council to look at establishing a university. And they said, convert Royal College into a university college, which had happened in some instances in India. But Mr. Frederick Donnos, whose photograph hangs there, resisted it. He said, no, there should be a Royal College. And there were others who were also there. And finally, they decided they'll have a university college and Royal College. This building carries on a history from the earlier buildings. And that is what Royal College is not a question of brick and mortar only. It's a question of the traditions and what we have brought and the contribution we have made. We have catered a large number of fields. The royalists have come forward and done their duty by the country. So we have to remember all of them. So Royal College then is this institution where people have basically been brought up with a character. You must have a character if you're in Royal College. You can't be otherwise. I mean, we have here Memorials to those who died in the famous wars from World War I, when of the 380 were from Royal and the people who died. We have for World War II, we have for the 83 war, the names that are there. So two names remind me specifically, that is Major General Fernando and Brigadier Jayatilakar. They were at Elephant Pass. Elephant Pass was surrounded. They were told to withdraw. They waited for everyone else to go and they brought the rear. They didn't run, they brought the rear. Both were shot and both died. That is the duty. That is what royalists are. We don't cut and run. That's why the Prime Minister and I are here. What are we going to do? And how will you contribute to the future of Sri Lanka? The world is changing. Education is changing. We are changing. I have had long discussions with Mr. Susil Premajayanta, Minister of Education. We are drawing plans how education should change and change radically. So we have got to think of a new type of school management, new type of education system and a new type of school management, which we will be starting, increasing our university education. I won't deal with it here, but uh, certainly the minister will come out in with all his plans in time to come. So that's what we are. Then. When we started in 1835, we were the only school. We could say for a long time we are the school. But there are other schools today. I think there are about 50 to 100 good schools which are competing. Royal has to compete with them. And that is good. You come up. But all those 100 schools are producing students which can easily compare with the best in England. Our A-level is tougher than the London A-level, which most of you know. But when you treat for the London A-level, much easier. So we are having a cream of a group of this in these hundred schools or so, hundred plus or minus. And that we have to develop as the future. Look into the new technologies, look into the new sciences, look into the climate change, how we are functioning. So that is one part. The second part, of course, is the country. We have also come to a turning point. We can no longer go with the old system. It's a crisis of the old order and the old order is collapsed. We can't go back to that, whether it be economics, whether it be education, whether it be politics. We have to build something anew. Look at the future. The country all one, not the country we had. Look at a new country, a new economy, a new political system, everything. A country meant for you all, not for us. And we royally should be capable of doing it. From C.A. Lawrence, what did we did? Up to all the J.R. Javadana and others, we built a new country. So we have come to that point. And let us get together all and build that new country together. We should not fail. And I'd like to ask all my colleagues in parliament, let's get together and work whatever be our political differences. There has to be political differences in a 
multi party democracy let's all get together and build that country we must all remember the oath we took the oath of the young men of amur we shall transmit this city only or not less but greater better and more beautiful than when it was transmitted to us thank you